Got a real treat for you on the Midday Fix. We're joined by members of the Elmhurst University Jazz Band. It's a week ahead of next week's big festival. Chris Parsons is the festival director. Welcome one and all to the Number 9 Lounge. We're so glad to have you here. Thanks for having us. Uh, I love, I'm a big jazz enthusiast. I love it because you guys are always so enthusiastic in turn about your craft. So tell us a little bit about the event and how it fits into the university's mission. Um, this is the 57th annual Elmhurst University Jazz Festival. Um, the main focus of our uh, festival is education first. There's okay. a uh, history and tradition of many festivals where they rank and you know first winner take all. Our festival is all about educating and promoting the, the great American art form. Okay so let's take that. So you offer obviously some tips uh, to some of the people who are performing there mm -hmm. and those come from other band members or those you know professionals or how does that work? Uh, we bring in uh, guest artists and adjudicators every year who spend uh, the whole weekend with the Elmhurst University Jazz Band and uh. then they spend time with all the other school groups that we're bringing in. I like that. That's so great. And, you know, and studies have shown people who excel in uh, music, they do so well in other facets of life, too. Correct. But you've had some pretty well-known people come through your uh, university as part of this program. Correct. Dizzy Gillespie, mm -hmm. Diana Krall. Yes. That's amazing stuff. Yeah, it's, um, it's wonderful to be able to bring in um, some of the biggest names in jazz, and then the students can interact with them, and they can talk with them and get advice and tips, and uh, we've had some students make connections and go on to work with these people in the future. How do you think the overall jazz scene is doing in Americana? I think it's doing very well. Um, it's very small, but that makes it accessible for Extremely everybody. Extremely dedicated. Though. Correct. Yes, and it uh, it allows a, a situation like this allows the students, like I was saying, to meet their heroes and meet the people that they aspire to be, and then make that connection. It's hard to do that in a lot of other different art forms. So I have a friend who's a jazz musician, and then every summer he goes to like Sweden and Germany mm -hmm. and things like that because they fully embrace the jazz scene over in Europe completely. Yes, yeah, they really embrace this art form, and um, there's a lot of musicians that will go over there and participate in that this summer and make make a living for a summer over there. That's so great. All right, so do, uh, do me a favor, introduce you who you have here with you, okay. and then uh, before you do that, what are you going to play? What are they going to play? Um, they're going to play uh, without a song, um, and these are members of the Elmhurst University Jazz Band, the larger ensemble who will be playing this weekend. Uh, we got Mickey on piano, town here, yeah. uh, Aaron on bass, Jonah on tenor, Tim on trumpet, and Zach on drums. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. The 57th annual Elmhurst University Jazz Festival is February 22nd through the 25th at the Hammerschmidt Memorial Chapel. Beautiful place. For more information, check out elmhurst.edu slash jazz festival. Gentlemen, please take it away.